Sometimes siblings just don't get along. So imagine a case where there's an empire with lots of money on the line, strong personalities, and family secrets. Lots of them. You know there's going to be all kinds of tension. Take a look. Are you all right? Still working on the dessert wine budget. Can you just give me some space? Listen, I know you're still upset about what Aunt Yvette said. I've been trying to talk to you about it this whole week. Come on, you gotta open up sometime. I'm your sister. Not sure playing the sister card is the win that you think it is, especially after the other night. Funny how Bridget is your sister, but she stabbed you in the back. Or was it the other way around? Hmm? All right, I'm gonna let this slide because I know this is just what you do when you're pissed off. But even though we don't always see eye to eye, I am here for you, Dana. I know you think that's And true. guess who's here for us right now? New York's home. very own Ebony Noel on the, from the much talked about new series, The Kings of Napa. Please welcome her live from New York right now. My new bestie, whether she likes it or not, Ebony Noel! Good morning. Good morning, You're Ebony. Welcome. How are you? Pardon? I'm great. I'm great. I'm so excited to be here today. Oh, we are excited to have you because this is a long time coming. We've been I've been looking forward to meeting you because if people who have seen the show know that you your character is not one to be messed with August. So talk to us about this interesting family dynamic, which takes us on a ride from the get go. Just from the first episode, it's like chaos and but classy. Yes. But classy. I mean, I don't know about anyone else, but when I get together with my family, it's very similar to the king's dynamic we're loud it's a big beautiful family full of opinionated people um we're headstrong we butt heads the only difference is the kings have you know um an immense amount of wealth and they own a family vineyard so there's business involved as well so what we're seeing on this show is something that's familiar to all of us you know these these tips that you have with this brother you're closer to that sibling you're tight with this cousin and so you kind of form teams in that way, but we see it through the device of them trying to manage the power vacuum in the company. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna let you know that that when I have tiffs, I don't look that stylish or that classy <laughs> or that fancy. Just so you know, I want your kind of tiffs from this family because <laughs> it is just unbelievable. I know the fashion is out of control. It really <laughs> I, every single time, I'm like, oh my god! I know. I was like, I know they're the, they're the kings, but I keep going, yeah, queen. When someone steps up, I was like, yeah, it looks amazing. And what's even more exciting about this is like, you know, every single time we talk about television or Hollywood being inclusive, or you know, having you see a version of yourself on television, and this just this does just that. Not only on camera, but behind the scenes, you have some very powerful black women running the show. You already have the seal of approval from Miss Oprah, who I saw like sipping her wine, telling us to watch another episode. It has to, got to be like a great time for you being a part of this. Uh, first of all, when you're talking about Oprah shouting out our show, like, that was a dream come true. Just to be cast on a show on the Oprah Winfrey Network after growing up watching her show every day, 4 p.m. with my mom, with my grandma, like this moment is such a full circle moment, you know, to look up to her my whole life and then for her to give the stamp of approval. You're like, okay, we're doing, we're doing something great here. But like you said, there's so many powerful black women behind the scenes of our show. There's Janine Sherman Barrois who ran Claws, who ran Self Made. We have um, black women at the head of hair, makeup, wardrobe, several departments behind the scene. It's just, it's, it's a celebration really going into work every day. You're like, okay, we understand each other and now it's time just to stunt and show the world what we can do. All right, so I'm maybe let me. I'm gonna tell you this, right? Like maybe when you first met me, you probably thought this girl seems like a tiny bit cool because her name's OG. But you're gonna think I'm not cool at all when I tell you that I don't. I don't drink wine at all. I don't. That's okay. I know, I know, because everyone thinks I'm not cool when I say not even wine. I don't drink at all. So I'm just saying. But I, I'm got this mm -hmm. move. This show makes me want to start drinking wine. I'm just saying. Like the way you start off with like you when you when you were tasting the first time we see you and you're like mm -hmm. I'm like what is she doing? I want to know now. But. I'm sure you had to take, you guys had to go to a special school to be like owners of this vineyard. So what's your favorite wine and what have you learned about wine that you didn't know before you took on this role? Well, just to work backwards a little bit from your question, one of the things I learned that I didn't know before was just that, the process of tasting wine. I knew about it, I had a vague like understanding of what people do, but just the steps, right? Look at the colors, sniff it, swirl it, smell all of that. Um, how to taste, that's really opened up my experience of drinking wine now because it's more of a sensory experience. It's You take your time and you can really 
enjoy a bottle or a glass. My favorite wine currently, I mean, it changes, I think, on the season. Right now, because it's winter, I'm really into, like, full-bodied reds. Mm. So I'm, you know, I love a Barolo or a Chianti. That's kind of what I'm feeling. But in the summertime, I'm, like, rosé all day. So it just oh. depends on the on the time of year. All right, when it gets warmer, I'm going to come hang out with you and we can rosé all day. Yes. Or, you know, one of the actors on the show, she doesn't drink either. Um, Yanni King Ronchan, she plays Bridget, and she drinks tart cherry juice. Well, tart cherry juice it is. But but so, I, I, you can rosé all day out tar tart cherry juice all day. Exactly. All right, so let's talk quickly about you because your parents are Guyanese. You were born in New York, but you have lived. You've been traveling mm -hmm. because your mom worked for the United Nations. So what are some of your world travels that you've, where you've stopped and where you've lived and how that has shaped the career you're in right now? Oh, wow. Um, I, I mean, I've gotten to be really lucky to travel all over the world for my mom's job first and then a little bit for my job as well. Mm -hmm. I think the places that stand out to me the most, I lived in Ethiopia from 9 to 11, which was just, you know, it just blew my mind over. Like, as a kid, I'd never seen this type of landscape, these type of animals, just like I'd never been to the continent before, so it was cool to just, you know, um, actually see how people live, at least in this small, like, one corner of, <laughs> of the continent of Africa. That was great. And then also Fiji is another place that really oh sticks out in my mind. Of, like, a magical place to have lived and worked. It's just, I can't wait to go back there. Oh, we, I'll, 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 I'll be your bodyguard from now on. Trust me. <laughs> I, when I stand up, I'm, like, super, like, massive and tall. So I'll be your bodyguard. And I grew up in Nigeria. I was born and raised in Nigeria. I've never oh, been to cool. Ethiopia, so what we're gonna do is like we go back to Ethiopia for your reunion with with your friends there, and then I'll take you to Nigeria. We'll go across to the west coast to Nigeria. Cool. Yes. Yes. Sounds great. All right, you said it. <laughs> no, listen, I'm down for the plan. You okay? <laughs> so you cannot hide. No one, no one hides from me. I find people like just like that. I'm like a private detective at heart, just so you know. So Ebony, it's such a pleasure to meet you. I will be seeing more of you when we go on our journey. Everyone, The Kings of Napa airs Tuesday nights on OWN. You got to check it out. If you haven't seen the first, I guess, three episodes, you can catch up on OWN.com. Right? Yes. Well, thank you for having me. Anytime. With you. Oh, no, don't thank me now. Thank me when we hang out. Well, I'll see you later. <laughs> okay. <laughs> see you later. Bye.